and welcome to Excellence Academy. For today, we're looking at uh, the differentiation of trigonometric functions, um, including sine, cosine, and the rest of them. All right, so I'll give you a table here to express something. Um, so let's have this. Let's have a table containing some trigonometric functions and their derivatives. All right. Uh, let's say I have here as y. Let's say I have here as dy all over dx. Let's start with number one. If I have y as sine x, then if I differentiate y or if I differentiate sine x, I will get cos x. Number two, if I have cos x, if I differentiate cos x, I will have minus sine x. Number three, if I have tan x, if I differentiate tan x, I will get sec um, squared x. Number four, if I have sec x, if I differentiate sec x, I will have sec x tan x. Number five, if I have cot x, if I differentiate cot x, I'll have minus cosec squared x. Finally, number six, if I have cosec x, number six, if I have cosec x, if I differentiate cosec x, I'll have minus cosec x cot x right so these are like the six um, major ones when it comes to trigonometric differentiation right uh, these ones we'll take some examples and solve problems on this let's say i have um, example one on this let's say i have that y is equal to sine log x for instance i'm going to differentiate this all right, case one, this is um, a question on chain rule. So your first step here will say, let u be equal to what you have in the bracket there, and that's log x. If I differentiate u with respect to x, I have that du all over dx is equal to one all over x. Next up, y is now equal to sine. y is sine of log x. But well, we just said log x is equal to u. So therefore, y becomes sine u. If I differentiate y with respect to u, I will have that dy over du is equal to, we said, if I differentiate sine x, I get cos x. So similarly, if I differentiate sine u, I will get cos u. So I have this. All right, so using chain rule, using chain rule, I will have that dy over dx is equal to dy over du times du all over dx. And that's equal to dy over du is this cos u. So I'm having cos u times du over dx. du over dx is 1 over x, so I'm having 1 all over x. If I multiply this, this is equal to cos u times 1 gives you cos u all over x but we just said u is equal to log x but we just said u is equal to log x hence it means that dy all over dx is equal to cos u it becomes cos of u use log x so i'm having cos u as log x this all over x so this becomes my answer cos of log x all over x. Now let me point out something from this table. When it comes to differentiating trigonometric functions, whenever I differentiate a trigonometric function that starts with a c, I'll get a negative, right? One is cos, it's negative. One is cot, it's negative. One is cosec, also negative. So it's something you should note. Whenever I differentiate a trig function that starts with c, it usually gives you a negative uh, result. Example 2. Let's say y is equal to cosec 
3 exponential 2x. Fine. Let's imagine to differentiate this. Y could be equal to cosec 3 exponential 2x. My fit of course for this case too, I'll use chain rule. Most of the times when it comes to trig function, most of the times, uh, especially when the trig function has another bracket there, okay? When the trig function has another bracket there, usually the method employed is usually the chain rule method. So for these two, I will use chain rule. But the concept is this, let u be equal to what I have in my bracket there, 3 exponential 2x. If I differentiate this, I'll have that the u all over the x is equal to using the shortcut. For shortcut, differentiate 2x, I'll get 2. 2 times 3 here gives you 6 exponential 2x. Please, the shortcut for exponential, uh, exponential differentiation has already been discussed in our previous class, classes. All right? So you can go back, I will drop a link in the description and you check um, check out the shortcuts and how this is done. All right, so next up, y now becomes equal to cosec, cosec 3 exponential 2x. We just said 3 exponential 2x, that's this, should be equal to u. So y is now equal to cosec u. If I differentiate y with respect to u, I will have that the y over the u, the y all over the u is equal to, if I differentiate cosec x, I have minus cosec x cot x. If I differentiate cosec u, I'll have minus cosec u cot u. All right, at this point here, using chain rule, so using chain rule, we said the y over the x is equal to the y over the u times the u all over the x. So this is now equal to the y over the u, as we have here, here is minus cosec u cot u times the u over the x is 6 um, exponential 2x. So if I multiply this now, this will now be equal to minus, take the constant there, so minus 6 um, cosec u cot u. So minus 6 cosec u cot u. Take off this one, I have exponential 2x. But we just said u is equal to 3 exponential 2x. Hence, my final answer is now equal to, wherever I see u here, I'll put exponent 3 exponential 2x. So this now becomes equal to minus 6 cosec. I can see u here. So I'll put 3 exponential 2x. Next up, cut u becomes cut. u we said is 3 exponential 2x. And then next up, exponential 2x. So I have this. Please mind you, these two cannot multiply because this is an angle of cut. So this is my answer after differentiating this step. So let's take a third example. Let's say example three. Example three, let's say I have y being equal to sine of two plus exponential five x. I'm about to differentiate this. Case one, I will see, let u be equal to the term in the bracket that's um, two plus exponential five x. Differentiate u with respect to x, I have that the u over the x is equal to, constant gives you zero, so it's off. This one gives you five exponential five x. Next up, um, y is now equal to sine of all of this, that's sine of two plus exponential five x. But we just said two plus exponential five x should be equal to u. So y becomes equal to sine this is now u, so it becomes sine u. If I differentiate y with respect to u, I have that dy all over the u. If I differentiate sine of x, I get cos x. Similarly, if I differentiate sine u, I get cos u. All right, if I now use chain rule, if I now use chain rule, I'll have that dy over the x 
is equal to dy over du times du all over dx. So this is now equal to dy over du is um, this cos u. So it gives you cos u times du over dx. du over dx is 5 exponential 5x. If I multiply these two, this is now equal to um, 5 this exponential 5x next up cos u. So having this. Alright, so this is now equal to, but we said u in value is this. So I'm having 5 exponential 5x cos u. u is equal to 2 plus exponential. So 2 plus exponential 5x exponential 5x. So this is my answer after differentiation. I'll get this as my dy by dx. One last example. Example 4. What if there's a part here? So y is equal to cos, let's say q into um, 2x minus 5, for instance, like this. Then I'm asked to differentiate this step. If I'm to differentiate this, what do I do? So case one, um, in this case, now remember we said chain is called function of a function or function of several functions. Right, so in this case now, I can use the idea of function of several functions here. The idea is to always break down um, each level to the minimum. So for this now, I will say let u. So I will say let u. Perhaps let me divide this. Okay, uh, divide this this way. All right. So I will say let u become the term in the bracket two x minus five. If I differentiate, I have that du all over dx, that's u and x, is equal to, I'm having 2. Hence, y is now equal to cos cube, and then this. We said this is u, so it becomes cos cube u. All of this, that's 2x minus 5, is equal to u, so I'm having cos cube u. But this, this term here is not very um, simplified. I'm still having the part here, cube. So I can still employ another idea of chain rule here. So what do I do? I will now say, let V be equal to cos U. Since cos U is Q, that means cos U is multiplying itself three times. Let V be one of cos U. If I differentiate V and U, I will have that the V all over the U is equal to, if I differentiate cos U, I will have minus sin U. Okay? So what, what that means is this, it means that y is now equal to, this was cos u, cos cube u. Cos cube u means cos u all cube. But we just say that cos u should be v. So if I have cos u all cube, becomes v cube. Alright, for this case, I differentiated u and x, and I got du dx. I differentiated v and u, I got dv over du. I am now to differentiate y and v, hence I'll have dy over dv is equal to, from the idea of general method of differentiation, this becomes 3v squared. So hence, using chain rule, if I use chain rule, I will have that dy over dx in this case is now equal to, but then I have about uh, this function, this is 1, I will call this my first function, my first differential function. Uh, perhaps equation, my second differential equation, and then my third differential equation. So it's now equal to dy over dv, um, dy all over dv, times dv over du, so times dv all over du, times du over dx, so du all over dx. If I look at this now, um, from here, dv can cancel dv, so it's of du can cancel du, so it's of I'm left with dy over dx. So this equation is correct. This is what is called function of several functions. It's still the idea of chain rule. All right, so putting values, dy over dv is equal to 3v squared, so I'm having 3v squared times dv over du is minus sine u, so minus sine u times du over dx is equal to 2. 
if I multiply this, this is now equal to 3 times u. 3 times 2 is 6. Or if I have before that, is a minus. So it becomes minus 3 times 2 is 6. Next up, I can see v squared. Next up, I can see sine u. So 3 times 2 is 6. The minus here comes this way, v squared sine u. I can't leave this, this answer this way. I'll have to express this in terms of x. All right? But, but, okay, um, 2 is already here. But v is equal to cos u. All right. If v, we just said v is equal to cos u. Hence, this is now equal to minus 6. If I have v squared, v is already cos u. So it becomes cos squared u. It becomes cos squared when u and then sine u. Okay, this is v squared. v squared and um, v is cos u. So when we say v squared becomes cos u all squared. Cos u all squared can be written as cos squared u. And that's the case here. Finally, I can still leave this in terms of u. I express the u in terms of x. But we still said u is equal to this 2x minus 5. Hence, this now becomes equal to minus 6 cos squared u. u is 2x minus 5. Next up, sine u. So it becomes sine of u. u is 2x minus 5. The answer here is minus 6 cos squared 2x minus 5 sine 2x minus 5. This is the solution of this question. Look at other examples like this in our next class.